What's up guys, I'm Bravex Hero, and today we're going to be talking about the newest grenade launcher, the Explosive Personality, and why this needs to be at the top of your list to get. The last time we had a grenade launcher like this with a specific perk was over two years ago. And in this video, I'm going to be covering what makes this grenade launcher so special, why it's better than all the other grenade launchers, and some of the best builds you can use with this grenade launcher. All I ask is that if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, feel free to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on all notifications. By doing so, you'll get notified when I post new videos and when I live stream here on YouTube. But with that out of the way, let's get into the video. When it comes to Destiny 2, there's two types of grenade launchers in the game. You have your normal lightweight frame remote detonation grenade launchers. And then you have the wave frame grenade launchers. And in Season of the Risen, our newest weapon we're talking about today is the explosive personality. Let's talk about the basics before we get into why this grenade launcher is better than the other wave frames and pretty much how to optimize it for PvP. Now, if you're used to the traditional grenade launchers, you don't necessarily have to see your target to deal damage since majority of grenade launchers have remote detonation. As for wave frames, rather than it causing an explosion, this weapon releases a wave of energy when it makes contact with the ground. Sure, you can bounce it off the wall for some cool sneak attack moves, but majority of the time, you're just firing this down at the ground and trying to aim your wave of energy at your enemy. Now for direct impact with a wave frame grenade launcher, you're looking at a total of 130 damage which is about 65% health from any max resilient guardian, thus leaving them with only 35% health left, which you can easily clean up with any of your other weapons. Now, why do I prefer wave frame grenade launchers over the other traditional remote detonation? Destiny 2 is full of lanes and players funnel through these lanes and the wave frames take advantage of that. And not only that, players don't know how to play against wave frame grenade launchers especially when you pair them alongside a good secondary weapon. Guys, if you can learn how to use the radar properly in Destiny 2, you can easily predict players' movements and that can set you up for a good wave frame damage. Now, why explosive personality? Season of the Risen came with an exotic wave frame, the Dead Messenger. Shoot, it even came with a new wave frame for the raid, Forbearance. Both of these grenade launchers lack one very important perk. That perk is auto-loading holster. The last time we had an auto-loading wave frame grenade launcher was back in Season of the Hunt, and that was with the Deafening Whisper. And I know 80% of players did not get an auto-loading holster roll. Guys, we're going to get into why auto-loading holster is nasty for PvP. All right, for those of you who don't know what auto-loading holster is, auto-loading holster, the holstered weapon is automatically reloaded. Now, what does this mean for wave frames? Well, this allows you to fire your wave frame and swap to another weapon. While it's stowed away, it will reload, thus allowing you to prep for the next engagement. Just look, firing this weapon and reloading it, it takes a while. And in a real-time engagement, you're probably dead. But with auto-loading holster, you can swap and clean up your enemy. And by the time you win that engagement, your grenade launcher will be automatically reloaded and that'll set you up for the next gunfight. Now, before we get into any builds, let's talk about the remaining perk. Since auto-loading holster is a must-have perk, what about the final column? Well, you have some good options. You can always go with the perk Frenzy, which being in combat for an extended period of time increases damage, handling, and reload for this weapon until you're out of combat. This is a great perk, and with a 15% damage buff you get to your wave frame, this puts your damage total over 150 points. But hey, that's not the only fun perk that can roll on this grenade launcher. Let's talk about the perk Disruption Break. Breaking an enemy's shield with this weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period. Guys, for starters, a Guardian Shield is about 120 points, and your grenade launcher will deal 130 points, thus activating the perk Disruption Break. At this time, your kinetic weapon deals 50% more damage. Now, you might think I'm crazy for recommending these perk combos, but for PvP, auto-loading holster is necessary for a good run-and-gun playstyle. Shoot, auto-loading holster is great for PvE as well. If you haven't seen my buddy Plunder's video, I highly recommend you check it out. He made a PvE guide for this grenade launcher. And yes, guys, auto-loading holster is a perk he recommended as well. 
Now let's talk about my favorite waveframe builds. And yes, guys, I have one that I always use when it comes to waveframes. And that one is my Wave Keepers build. This build revolves around the Titan exotic leg armor, the Peacekeepers. This exotic has the exotic perk Mecha Holster, in which it reloads stowed SMGs and allows you to ready them instantly. It also improves your handling with SMGs and your movement wielding one. Essentially, this exotic turns you into a demon with an SMG. But here's where we pair it with the Waveframe Grenade Launcher. By causing damage with your Waveframe, you can instantly swap to your SMG for an easy cleanup. See where I'm going with this, guys? Using this Waveframe Grenade Launcher with Auto Loading Holster and pairing it with the exotic perk Mecha Holster, you now have two weapons that will reload when stowed away. And let's not forget that the Mecha Holster, it'll let you draw out your SMG instantaneously but all right can this be paired with anything else can i use this on a hunter yes you can you can always pair this alongside the exotic leg armor the lucky pants and this is going to allow you to draw your hand cannon out instantaneously thus allowing you to take full advantage of the wave frame auto loading holster and once you cause damage swap over to your hand cannon and clean up that enemy now for my warlocks out there you guys got it pretty easy you can always use the exotic gauntlets, the fitting aspect. This will essentially give you quick draw on any of your weapons. Let's keep in mind guys, that all you have to do is cause damage with your wave frame grenade launcher and quick draw to your kinetic weapon for that easy cleanup. All right, let's talk about enhanced perks, such as enhanced auto loading holster and enhanced frenzy. Guys, big shout out to the Reddit post you see on screen. They did all the testing for enhanced auto loading holster. And for those wondering, Enhanced Auto Loading Holster changes it from a 2.5 second stow time to a 2.3 seconds, which it's very minimal. Guys, do I recommend it? Yes. If you get a chance to get Enhanced Auto Loading Holster, then get it. But it's not a make or break for this gun. But what about Enhanced Frenzy? Well, this takes it from a 5 second timer and changes it to a 5.5 second timer. Again. Similar to Enhanced Auto Loading Holster, do I recommend it? Yes, but it's not necessarily needed. As you can tell, Enhanced Perks are great, but it's not going to turn this already great weapon into some sort of game-breaking gun. So if you can get a good roll on the Explosive Personality Wave Frame Grenade Launcher, then you might not have a need to craft a better version. Just get it with Auto Loading Holster. Guys, I really do hope some of you go out there and try the explosive personality. I've had my deafening whisper for over two years now, and I can say that this grenade launcher is good. A lot of people ask me about it all the time, and they ask, where can I get one? I always told them, you can't get it anymore. Bungie doesn't make wave frames, and they don't make it with auto loading holster. Well, all that changes now. Explosive personality comes with the perk auto loading holster, and you need to get it. But with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, a like is really appreciated. And remember to click that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I hope you guys have a good one, and I will see you in the next video.